God be glory and praise. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. And this is number two. We're trying again. Hallelujah. We got Periscope coming back in the room in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The devil don't want y'all to get this word, but that's all right. He's a liar and a loser in the name of Jesus. As you guys are coming back in the room, hallelujah. To God be the glory. He is faithful. God bless you, Lady Johaiza, in Jesus' name. God bless you, Dr. Abernathy. God bless those of you, Lady Marina, uh, and those of you, uh, Lady Laura, those of you who are on Facebook Live this morning. Welcome, welcome, Alicia. Nothing can stop God. Nothing can stop this move of God. Let me tell you here. And she said, I'm back in Jesus' name. God bless you, Miss Rose, Tasha Renfro. Ain't nothing stopping. Ain't no stopping us now. We on the move. I'm trying to tell you, ain't nothing stopping us right now. We're on the move to God be glorified, to God be praised in the name of Jesus. Thank you all so much for coming back in the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did we say? We said that God has given us that special sauce, that secret sauce. It's called the anointing of God. Hallelujah. It is called the God that is with us in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Y'all finna get this word because God said somebody needed to hear this word. I had a whole nother word. I was planning on releasing, but God said, go on ahead and release this. And he said to release it live in Jesus mighty name. And so I'm going to obey God. I'm going to obey God. Thank you so much for the super heart lady. I am Aisha. May the blessing of the Lord overtake you woman of God in Jesus name. Daphne said the periscope is tripping, but God be glorified in Jesus mighty name. Can't no one monkey stop. No show. I'm trying to tell you God is greater. God is stronger in Jesus mighty name. And though this may be on streams and you know, and he may be the prince of the powers of the air. I'm trying to tell you he's a prince and God is the king. And since I checked, there is never where no prince can trump a king. Hello, somebody. We serve the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And he said, there is no way I'm going to let you lose in this season. In the name of Jesus. Absolutely. This word is already taken root. It's already taken action in Jesus mighty name. God is faithful and he's worthy. God bless you. Intercede and worship. That's Matthew Jones. God bless you this morning. Hello, somebody. And so listen. I don't know where we got cut off, but um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to verse number 19. And this is 2 Samuel chapter number 5. It said, then David prayed to God and he said, shall I go up and fight the Philistines and will you help me beat them? Hallelujah. And that is my prayer. And that is the prayer of many of you. God, I just want to know. I just want to know if I go up, you, you're not going to let me lose. I just want to know if I go up, you're going to help me win. God, if, if I go up, if I put myself out there, you're going to cause me to win in Jesus mighty name. And I believe God. I believe God. God, and he said, will you help me beat them? And God answered him in verse number 20, go up, God replied, and you can count on me. I will help you beat them. And I hear God saying this morning in Jesus mighty name, hallelujah, you don't have to worry. God, God is going to help you beat whatever stands in your way. Hallelujah. The giants may be at the gate, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall in Jesus mighty name, because victory is absolutely certainly your portion in the name of Jesus. He said, hallelujah, you can count on me. I'll help you beat them. And there are some of the things there are some circumstances because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. And, uh, oh my God. And so it seemed like they be walking over, but I want to serve notice on you. You might be walking over, but you're going to be limping back. You might have thought that you was going to be walking over, running over. Don't run up on this. Don't run up on this because the God that is on, on the inside of you, the God that is on the inside of me, hallelujah, has already said, not only are we going to win, but he's going to cause it to be smashed to pieces. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. And so the Bible says, says, the Bible says, hallelujah, David went straight to Belper. He smashed them to pieces. And afterwards, David said, God exploded on my enemies like a gush of water. What I love about David is he said, it, it, it said that he smashed them to pieces, but he didn't take the credit. I don't want your credit, God. I give you all the credit, all the glory, all the honor to you. And it said, he called it, God exploded on my enemies like a gush of water. That's why David named the place Belper is in, because the master who exposed, hallelujah, will Will you, when you get the win, give God the glory? When you get the win, will you give God the glory? Hallelujah. And he said he called the name of the place, the master who exposed. God will do some amazing things for those who will give him the glory, who will give him the credit. Then it said, hallelujah, the retreating Philistines, they dumped their idols and David and his soldiers took them away. I'm not letting, I'm not allowing, I'm not a supporting, I'm not going to be somewhat okay. I'm not chilling, allowing the enemy to leave anything that belongs to him in the 
the name of Jesus. The devil is a whole liar. I, I'm not settling. I'm not compromising. Listen, in this hour, in Jesus' mighty name, it said that the enemy left their idols. You can't have no idols in my camp. I, I don't want nothing that's not the like the Lord in my camp. And it said David and his soldiers, they got rid of him. They, it, it can't stay here. And there is a something that has to rise up on the inside of you that says, I refuse to compromise in the season in Jesus' mighty name. I refuse to allow that to have any of that in my camp. I refuse absolutely no mixture in Jesus' name. And so the Bible says in verse 22, later there was a repeat performance. There was a repeat performance. What I want to release to some of you, listen, these are battles that maybe you went up against before. Maybe you had to go this direction before. Maybe you had to go this way before. Maybe this is an opportunity that you thought that you had in previous season and it didn't go the way that you thought it was going to go. It, it, it maybe, 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 and maybe you felt like you won in a previous season. So what in the world is you coming back for? Why do I got to go through this again? And it said later there was a repeat performance. I decree and declare that God is getting ready to give you a win again. Uh, God is getting ready to give you a win again. And so the Bible says the Philistines came up again and deployed their troops in Rephaim Valley and David again prayed to God. Listen, hallelujah. Every What I love about David, he just didn't assume that because God had a way before that must going to be the way that he going to do it again this time. He went and he prayed again. I need you to continue to be in a place of prayer. And the Bible says, hallelujah, in verse 23, this time God said, don't attack them head on. Hallelujah. Don't attack them head on. Instead, circle around behind them and be uh, ambush them from the grove of the sacred trees, also known as the, the mulberries, also known, hallelujah. And, 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 and he, the Bible says, uh, hallelujah, when you hear the sound of shuffling in the trees, uh, in other words, when you hear the wind at the top of the trees, hallelujah, it said, hallelujah, get ready to move out. God is saying, hallelujah, he is sending a wind your way. Wait for the wind of God, hallelujah. And when you hear the sound, the sound of a marching, hallelujah, what is the sound of a marching? That's the sound of the God of angel armies. That's the sound, hallelujah, of a marching of a feet. That's the sound of the marching of the armies, hallelujah, that are going ahead of you. He said, when you hear that sound, I need you to know that God is getting ready to cause your wind to be yours in Jesus mighty name hallelujah we heard the wind of God that is releasing your wind in Jesus mighty name the wind of God that is getting ready to release your wind and it said hallelujah when you hear the sound of the shuffling in the trees get ready to move out hallelujah can I release this over you this morning in Jesus name that you are getting ready to hear the wind of God and it's about time for you to move out in the name of Jesus and it said uh, it's a signal that God is going ahead of you to smash the Philistine camp hallelujah let me tell you when you hear the wind of God. Hallelujah. That is going to be your sign that the God of angel armies, that your God, hallelujah, is going ahead of you to smash anything that might have stood in your way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so David did what exactly what God told him. Father, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. And that is our confession that we are going to do exactly what you told us. And as the Bible says, he routed the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. Father, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. That as we do exactly what you told us. Hallelujah. The wind shall be our portion in Jesus mighty name. Thank you that we hear your wind. Thank you God that you're giving us discernment. Hallelujah. You're increasing our ability to hear you and hear you so clearly. So much so that we hear a wind. We hear a whisper oh God. We want to be so close to you in prayer that we hear the whisper of you the instruction of you as you tell us what to do in this season and in this hour in Jesus mighty name because the wind of God. Hallelujah. Is going to be our indication that the wind is certain ours in Jesus mighty name and not only is the wind ours because we believe you father God hallelujah but also but not only is the wind ours and it belongs to us but it's telling us hallelujah that it's time right now father thank you for your divine time and thank you for your appointed time thank you for the moed of God hallelujah that you are releasing upon our life God and we will be men and women of prayer father God that we will trust in you that we will hear you that we will know when it's our time for us to go forward to move forward God and we will move in your divine timing in the name of Jesus Father God hallelujah they coming again we're praying again Father God we will be men and women of prayer where we trust in the Lord in Jesus mighty name where we will believe you more than anything in Jesus mighty name Father I thank you for the wind I thank you for your presence I thank you God hallelujah even as we feel you upon us Father thank you for giving us the secret sauce this causes us to set be set apart and stand out from everybody else oh God hallelujah because it is the anointing that is upon us it is because of your presence that is upon us hallelujah and you go with before us and you make a room and you make a place for your people in jesus mighty
mighty name. Father God, I thank you for the tailwind that you are releasing upon your people and that is coming behind your people. God, that is going to push them further, faster. Father, thank you for the acceleration to put them in position of, of exactly where they need to be, Father God. And I thank you for increasing our sensitivity to be able to hear, hallelujah, the wind in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you glory right now. Hallelujah. And I decree and declare, Father, that we shall obey you. Hallelujah. And we shall do exactly what you tell us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And the win and the victory is our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Robo Sha. Hallelujah. That they said that we couldn't. They said that you can't. They said that there's no way. They said that you're not qualified. They said that you're not going to be nothing without me. You're not going to make it without me. But the devil is a liar. And we don't need nobody but you, God. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I thank you that as we look to you, hallelujah, for because you are where our help come from. Father, I thank you that those that might have been sleeping on us, those that might have minimized us, oh God, we didn't find ourselves little in our own eyes because we began to see ourselves as you see us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. More than conquerors, overcomers in Jesus' mighty name, winners and victorious by the power of the living God. And so, Father, we give you right now glory, hallelujah, that belongs to your name because you are worthy and you are wonderful. And as you release to uh, this uh, to us this wind, hallelujah, as you release to us the wind and the wind, Father God, we will be sure to forever give your name the praise, the honor, and glory, hallelujah, shall belong to you. We will not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. We will remain humble and meek, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And while we realize, hallelujah, that we have the spirit of God and the spirit of humility, hallelujah, we realize, hallelujah, that the kingdom of God suffered violence from the time of John the Baptist till now. Hallelujah to God be the glory. The kingdom suffered violence and the violent taken by force. And so, Father, I thank you for everything that we shall take by force according to the power of the living God that is on the inside of us, Father. And I thank you, hallelujah, that those who are ready to fight, we are ready to win in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We don't back down from a challenge. We don't back down from an obstacle, but winning is absolutely, totally, completely our portion. And so we rejoice in the God of our salvation and what is to come in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And I thank you that there shall be a, a performance. I thank you that there shall be a repeat win in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You won before you're about to win again in the name of Jesus. Father God, Luke 145. Hallelujah. Get ready. Embrace yourself for there shall be a performance of the Lord. God shall do everything that he said that he was going to do with man. It might be impossible, but with God, all these things are possible in the name of Jesus unto him that believeth. And so we are not of those that draw back, but we believe unto the saving of the soul. Father, thank you this morning that you are raising up somebody's confidence in you and they shall see, hallelujah, the power of the living God and victory shall be theirs in Jesus' name. And we give you glory for it right now. Amen and amen. Beloved, I love you with the love of the Lord. I thank God for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. The wind is mine. The wind is mine. Hallelujah. The wind of God is getting ready to be behind you. The wind of God, you're getting ready to see it. You're getting ready to hear it. You're getting ready to feel it. It's already going on the tops of the mulberry trees. Hallelujah. I hear marching. I hear marching. And the wind is yours. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. And God is going to get all the glory. It's going to work out for your good and for his glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The win is yours. The win is yours. Victory is your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Marketplace Watchmen. Hallelujah. Somebody, you ought to feel that breath right now. You ought to feel that wind right now in the name of Jesus, just sweeping over. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to feel a breeze right now, just moving over in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. The win is yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're getting ready to feel the wind of God that is behind you in Jesus' mighty name. He said, and then you will know when you hear the wind on the top of the trees, you will know that God has already gone before you in Jesus mighty name. It's the sign. It's the signal that God has gone ahead of you to smash whatever has been in your way in Jesus mighty name. That's when you'll know, you'll know it's time to move out. You'll know it's time to move forward in Jesus name. You'll know. Hallelujah. You've been wondering how will I know this is how you'll know this is your sign when you hear the wind in the name of Jesus and the wind is yours in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Much glory be to the Lord this morning in Jesus' name. Much love to you all. I thank God for those of you who have joined us today. Hallelujah. And so thank you so much. And for those of you who feel led, thank you so much for the seeds that you have sown in. If you feel led to sow on this word, you should certainly do so. At dollar sign Lady Jeremia on Cash App or PayPal.me forward slash Lady Jeremia. Hallelujah. I just feel God on this thing. I can't wait. Hallelujah. To hear the testimonies and the praise reports. This is not your time for you to give out because you're getting ready to hear the wind and you will know that the wind is yours. Hallelujah. That's going to be your sign in Jesus name. And so for those of you, if you don't follow me, make sure you um, follow me. Why? Because I've been sent on assignment to hear of the Lord, to release the word of the God to, to, to the people of the Lord. Hallelujah. So you will know the signs and the times. In other words, it was called the sons of Issachar and these were prophets and they knew, they knew what was going on. Hallelujah. And they knew what Israel shall do. I just believe God that not only will he release you the timing, but this is an hour where God is giving you the cheat sheet. Like he's telling you what is happening and what to do in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So you will not err in the season in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for the seed. Lady Glenda George, may the blessings of the Lord overtake you woman of God in Jesus name. Listen, hallelujah. Those of you, if you have prayer requests, you can send them to me at morning manor with Lady Jeremiah on Facebook. If you have praise reports, you please post them to the wall at morning manor with Lady Jeremiah, not my personal Facebook messenger, because I don't check that as frequently. So make sure you send it to morning manor with Lady Jeremiah. Listen, hallelujah. Those of you as well, just as we dedicate our money to the Lord, we also dedicate our day to the Lord. We tithe our time and we tithe our money. Hallelujah. And so the, today, our daily Bible reading, as we read the Bible every day for a year in chronological order, because we're consecrating our day, two hours and 24 minutes of intentional time every day with the Lord through prayer, praise, worship, and the word. And so today's daily Bible reading is coming from Psalms chapter number 26, Psalms chapter number 40. 58 and then 61 through 62 and 64. Let me say that again. The daily Bible reading is Psalms chapter number 26 and uh, number 40 uh, and 58, 61 through 62, as well as 64. Thank you so much for the seed, Lady Gladys and Lady Demetria. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you, women of God, in Jesus' name. And I will be praying over seeds as well. Hallelujah. And so I thank God for each and every one of you. Oh, oh God. I just feel the fire of God. Uh, it's intoxicating. It's intoxicating. His spirit is so heavy in this place. Hallelujah. I pray that you feel the spirit of the living God absolutely where you are. Thank you all so much for putting them up here. Uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for the seed. Lady Tarnisha, may the blessing of the Lord overtake you, woman of God. In Jesus' mighty name, lovely Gigi and Lady Carla, thank you so much for putting that up there. Much love to you. I'm ready. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to see something that I've never seen. You are getting ready to see something that you've never seen. You're getting ready to see and experience breakthrough like never before in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Brother Henry. Um, may the blessing of the Lord overtake you, man of God, in Jesus' name. Father is so faithful. You are getting ready to see incredible things, things that you would not have believed. They counted you out, but God said, no, 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 you, you, I got you. You're mine in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So I just believe, God, that we're getting ready to experience some things that you've never seen before. I'm trying to tell you, God bless you, lady peoples. Much love to you. I love to have you in the room, and thank you so much for the scene. May the blessing of the Lord overtake you in Jesus' name. God bless you, lady Felicia. Woo! We're getting ready to see it. The wind of God is here in Jesus' name. So you guys have an amazing day, and we will connect soon. I'm not out of word, but we are running short on time this morning. Hallelujah. I just believe, God, that we're getting ready to experience some amazing things. Hallelujah. In this season and in this hour, in Jesus' mighty name. So get ready, get ready, get ready. God bless you.